Hey, hello friends. Welcome to my channel. SAPSD and ABAP League Support. In our previous video, I mean previous to previous video, we discussed about what is BRF Plus and what are the main features of BRF Plus and uh, why we need that in S4 HANA. Today, we will mainly talk about to in order to use that uh, BRF functionality in our system, what are the prerequisite steps are required. So without this configuration, we can't use the output determination based on BRF plus. Let's go one by one. The first activity that we should do is that uploading the XML file into T code BRF plus R BRF plus BRF the symbol plus R BRF plus. So into this T code we need to upload the XML file. So now you might ask me what is the XML file? As we know that this BRF plus works based on the application objects. So application object in the sense, let me show you that. System is very slow. Okay, let me log in again. Okay, I'm going to SPRO path now and SAP reference IMG. And here we see the cross application components. And if I scroll down little bit, I can see that output control. You can see here output control. Click this one. And uh, here we see the manage application object type activation. If I click this one, and you see here, we have different kind of application objects are available. If you speak about sales document, this is used only for the sales orders. Okay, this object is used to for sales orders only. Similar way, billing document. For billing documents, outputs, we should use this application type. We discussed right in that uh, earlier, we discussed about that uh, outputs about this uh, NAS configuration, NAC, NAS configuration, right? At that point of time, we have gone through that. Uh, different applications like uh, v1 v2 v3 right this is two character applications coming to brf plus point of view this is the applications object types so v1 equal to sales document v3 equal to billing document so in a way you can um, make a connection between that application and this application object type so as part of this step, we are going to upload XML file. Okay. Now you might ask me where I can get that XML file. So let me show you that. So actually SAP provided some nodes. You see, you guys aware of this SAP nodes, right? So this is the SAP node double two four eight double two nine. So in these nodes, we can get the XML file. Okay, so SAP only recommended this. So SAP recommended this to follow these steps. And you see here, we have the GIF file, 
XML files are stored inside this zip file only, right? You see BRF underscore file underscore S4 core underscore 100. So 100 is uh, nothing but the the component actually. Okay, let me show you in the system also. Okay, if I go to more uh, system and status and here you see product version here we can see one symbol detail symbol click this one you see here s4 core s4 core is the component and the release is the 104 and the sp level means service pack level is triple zero so depending on your sap installation it might vary s4 core release will might vary and SP level also might vary. So whatever the GUI that we are using, according to that, we should download this zip file from this node, SAP node. If, if, if you guys are not aware of this uh, SAP node, how to access this and all, we can uh, discuss this separately in another video. Okay, so ours is that S4 core 104, right? And uh, service spec level is double zero double zero. This is the hours. If I click this one, it will download automatically. But I have already downloaded that. Let me show you that. You see, I have already downloaded the GIF file. This one, one zero four, SP double zero. And I have extracted this as well into this folder. And if you see here, we have different XML files available. Okay, different XML files are available, right? We need to import this file one by one. As we are SAP SD consultants, we need only the data relevant to sales document and billing document, right? And if I scroll down here, you see this is our application object, sales document, and this is our billing document, right? Like this, we should uh, select which one we need. Okay, now let me tell you how to import this file, XML files. So first needs to download it in that uh, SAP note, as I mentioned then we should upload that relevant xml file into our sap with the t code brf plus you see it is uh, redirecting to one website so what i will do so there are some issues in this uh, website that's why i'm copying this one then I will click allow. You see, it is failing now. So what I will do now, I will uh, modify the address. Okay, let me log into this. Okay, it is logging into this now. So basically, in this BRF plus T code, if you access the T code, it will open one browser like this, right? So here only, we should try to import the file from our local drive. So before doing that, first we should click this uh, personalize button. Then you see here user mode. So by default, it will be simple but we should make it as export if it's already export means you can leave it if not then we should make it as export okay then save it i have already maintained export already that's why it's showing as export 
okay it is done. the first step is user mode should be expert should be maintained right and the second thing is that click this tools okay then click this xml import you see here i have already extracted the billing document application object now this time i will try to import the sales document xml file okay so i have clicked the tools then xml import then select this xml file path click this one and uh, this time i will go for uh, sales document v1 application okay right so double click this one then i need to provide one customizing request that means these changes will be imported into one customizing transport request tr right because we need to transfer the changes from development to quality quality to production that's why this should be captured in one customizing request now everything is done right if i click this upload xml file then okay let me oh i didn't sell that file sorry let me select that one okay now it has been uh, selected so tr has been specified if i click upload means the dead the xml file will be starting getting loaded into the system without loading this data we can't assign any output types in the sales document level it's a mandatory step we should follow this it's a one time activity only it's not going to uh, use it do it very every time no it's very one time only okay so this is the first thing okay the second step is to activate brf plus okay sorry activate um, output so brf uh, plus functionality based on application document wise so we need to enable that right so we need to enable that that brf plus should functionality should be activated for the particular sales document wise it is loading let it load okay you see it is done now it shows some warning message that can be ignored but if i scroll down and you see one green tick mark saying that xml has been imported successfully with the transport request right if i click this back to workbench and you see this one also came here right so this is how we should import the xml files the first pre request step has been completed now we go for activate the brf plus functionality application document object wise right so i will go to spro path okay let me log in again i'm going to spro scp reference img okay so if you see here we can see cross application components select this one and uh, then look for output control then you click this first option manage application object type activation so by default as per sap standard behavior it is activated for billing document wise 
but we can switch it off if we don't want if you want to go with the nas wise configuration you see here for that uh, sales document it is active so i can inactivate this one if i don't want the brf plus wise then i can uh, inactivate but basically if we want to use brf plus means this should be active okay okay let's let, let's go through these three options here active means brf plus will be activated application inactive means this will be inactivated this won't work it will work based on the old nest based output determination and if you sell default means so you see one more column default here so whatever maintained in the default that will be applicable here very simple okay so it should be active as of now this is one of the second prerequisite okay so let me mention that uh, path so cross application and uh, second is that output control and third is manage application object activation so so in this path we should activate the application object types okay this is the second prerequisite step okay third one is that so bg rfc should be set it up so basically this should be done by our basis team only it's not our functional team activation it should be done by them only but still it's good to know about this configuration so the t code we should use here is that yes bg rfc conf let me try to access that one okay so this t code first of all let's understand why we need to do this, do, do this particular configuration we know that an output can be triggered immediately when we save that uh, sales document or uh, billing document so in order to trigger the output type immediately means then this configuration should be required and we know that right in uh, nast based we have that uh, field called dispatch time where we have options called 1 2 3 and 4 4 means save immediately when we save the transaction so to do that to make it work like that means this configuration should be done in this t code so again i'm telling you that this is purely by basis team should be done so so here first rfc should be created so when that is created then what we need to do okay this can be created via sale t code you guys are aware of this sale t code or sm59 so either of these two t codes we can use and create one rfc destination so one that is created then uh, come to this t code sb grfc conf come to this t code and you see one tab here define inbound destination so in this tab you should maintain this destination remember this this should be maintained like this only so destination should be this one 
so remember this one you can't change this one it should be like this only and in the prefix should be om q so prefix should be like this only and prefix should be this one this is an optional from a functional point of view but nothing to worry let's learn this also okay this is the uh, one more configuration okay the next one is that we know that brf plus works based on the that means uh, it will be triggering the layout based on the adobe document server ads right that means so we need to make sure whether ads is configured or not again this is also basis activity only so they will verify that okay the next one the next one is nothing but the last one okay so if i give you an example if you think about that uh, nast based output determination right in the nast based output determination whenever we save whenever output is triggered we will immediately get one pop up to store that pdf document into our local drive correct so how that is working how that uh, pop up comes there to store that uh, file immediately means there is one config available nas let me show you that again okay one second uh, it came now okay fine so let me see um, whether i can see that here itself print immediately scroll down okay v1 output types okay let me show you in different way okay so if you see here there is an option called print immediately so whenever this has been maintained okay in the output condition request determination time if you maintain this if you maintain this then what will happen when we save the training transaction order delivery or invoice that point of time we might get one pop-up window so in the pop-up window it will open one browser window where we need to specify the location where we can save that particular pdf file so this will be applicable only for the print output type right similar way in brf plus also if i want to store the pdf documents when we save the transaction then this configuration should be done that is nothing but the kpro kpro should be maintained 
is nothing but physical so here we need to specify the physical location definition okay so first let's do how to do this configuration so the path should be specified here okay so let me go to again uh, spro sap reference cross application components and uh, if i go to output uh, control sorry not output control it should be in that uh, document management yeah, you see document management and uh, general data so here yeah you see here settings for the storage system so we need to maintain this uh, configuration to make it work to define that storages where they should be stored so these are that uh, prerequisite step that which we must follow before going to start using this brf plus functionality remember that this configuration is same same for all the output types in sap purchasing document settlement sales document billing document everywhere this is the same prerequisite configuration it's a one time activity only no need to do every time okay so in another one or two sessions we can complete this uh, bra plus so if you have still have any concerns or queries please do let me know we can discuss later thanks everyone bye for now